Okay, so not having it. Game caviar back at it again. New game. Game I've been looking at for a long time. I was waiting for it to go down in price so I can get it. Being my normal frugal self. Goldeneye reloaded 007 on PS3. Playing online. Team Deathmatch. Uh little thing, little thoughts about this game. Um This game could it has the potential to be absolutely positively fun beyond belief but the game itself is very very the online part i'm talking about online right now it is very laggy and choppy and every time you get into a a action-packed part of a map it's like the game shits its pants it like it panics it doesn't know what to do so the biggest part about this online uh, mode is the fact that it doesn't hold up to the standards set by other video games, first-person shooter, first-person shooter video games that have online parts. This game is fun. Even with the lag, it's still fun, but the lag gets in the way. As always, lag is always going to get in the way. And there's a couple times, I don't think it happened this match, but they have the whole, you know, you, you kill somebody and they end up killing you, so you both end up dying. That's lag. So I'm running around with the AK-47 on this map that I've never played before, and I'm just feeling it out and looking for the other people. I finally get into some action, and, I mean, the lag is just, it just, it's so apparent. And... Um, it really takes away from the whole experience of this game. If if they somehow came up with, if Activision came out with a a uh, a patch that fixes the lag online, this game would be absolutely positively, in my book, one of the best games online um, that to come out this year. I'm talking about up there with uh, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Homefront. Um, it's fun. And it has the modes like the Golden Gun where whoever gets the Golden Gun gets one shot kill. The only downfall is that the damn Golden Gun has to be reloaded every time you shoot it. So you better get your uh, marksman on and don't miss. I got the Golden Gun one time and I missed and I died. So... Um, Everything about this game is is nothing that you've seen, um, you know, in other first-person shooters. Uh, the controls are uh, the same as they are. Um, let's see how am I going to explain this. Okay, if you play Call of Duty on Xbox 360, they have the same controls in this game where um, aim is L2 and shoot is R2. They swap the shoulder button. So, um, it... It didn't take me that long to get used to it. I'm used to playing Call of Duty on Xbox, so uh, it was easy. It was an easy switch over. I kind of like it better that way. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I like it the other way on PS3. I don't know whether I could change it. I need to dig into the settings. I changed the uh, sensitivity a little bit because when it was first, when I when it uh, when I first started, it was too slow. I was stuck in peanut butter. I couldn't move, so I had to change the uh, the uh, sensitivity. But yeah, right, right. You, if you just watch this video, you can see how the lag just kills this game. It absolutely destroys the online component of this game. I haven't played the single player yet. I just been online, and um, I, I was real eager to play this game. And it's been out for a while, and I've seen a couple videos. And um, look at this guy caught in the corner sniping. Look at him, holler, lay it down, son. But yeah, I, I've been waiting to play this game for a while, and I figured that they would already have taken care of this problem, but they haven't. So Activision, wake up. Take care of the lag issue in this game, please. I would really appreciate it, and I'm sure everybody who plays this game would also appreciate it. Uh, I end up doing pretty well in this match, actually. Um, I didn't break 10, but uh, I think I went 73 or something. I don't know. Uh... There, uh, as far as I know, there aren't any kill streaks. You just get extra points for going on a rampage, which is good because most of the time, 
kill streaks for the most part they uh they end up killing the, the flow of the gameplay especially in like call of duty when you have somebody with like pave low attack helicopter pave low the other team is just gonna go inside so you know it, it really disrupts the flow I, I like more of a uh a pure gameplay you know uh gun on gun you know just you know you got your gun and they got their gun and then you just battle and you leave it up to whoever has the best gun or the best skill with the gun, I should say. Uh, you know, it's like when they say in NASCAR, you know, all the cars are basically the same. And it's, it's, it's just down to the driver, you know. And uh, in the games like this where, they, where it doesn't rely on kill streaks and, you know, death streaks and all that other crap. You just rely on the gun. You rely on the gun and the skill of the person using it. Um, better than the lag is going to be something that I'm going to have to get used to while playing this game because... I, f I have the funny feeling that it's not going to get fixed or if it does get fixed it's not going to be anytime soon but you know I'll adapt and overcome that's not a big deal you know um, uh, Modern Warfare 3 got packs today it plays a lot better uh, I bet I went on a match and I went like 24 and 4 and uh, everything went a lot a lot smoother um, this match is almost over uh, like I said I went 7 and 3 you will see more of this uh, like comment subscribe Thank you for all the support. I'll be here tomorrow for the VGAs, and um, I'll be uploading videos and letting you know about everything that's going on. I'll also be on Twitter. Hit me up, um, twitter.com slash not having it, and I'll be tweeting and uh, making videos and keeping everybody updated. Uh, of course, the big story is going to be the PlayStation 3 uh, exclusive and whatever else comes along that way. All right. This has been 007 Reloaded.